Before we continue with the video, if you like what I'm doing here on this channel, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel a lot. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Welcome. So in this episode, we're going to be taking a look at how we can create a custom map to make use of in the Lyra starter game. And this is pretty straightforward. Um, let's start off by actually creating a level. So now we're currently in the startup level, which the project starts in. We'll create a new level. And here we have the option of uh, determining where we want to start as our uh, starting off point. Uh, we can create an open world if we want to, and we can have landscapes if we wanted to, or we can create an empty one, uh, or we can just click create a basic one if we want to. There's really not a whole lot of uh, limitations to uh, what you want to make use of uh, when it comes to the level. So choosing a basic one will do for us for now. And this is more or less, more or less everything that you need essentially right from the get-go. If we were to press play now immediately, you can see that we uh, get spawned into the world and we have a, uh, a default pawn uh, for the Lyra starter game. Uh, so this one is used when we don't actually have uh, a determined pawn based on an experience. And when it comes to Lyra, if you go to world settings, and if you don't have world settings up, you can always find it by going to window up here and clicking world settings. Uh, that way you'll get this uh, menu up. Inside of this panel we normally see uh, just game mode override, which is the game mode that is determined from your uh, project settings over here. The maps and modes, this default game mode. So you can override it over here if you want to. But when it comes to the Lyra starter game, in addition to the game mode, they also have uh, what's called a gameplay experience. And in Lyra Start Game, they have a few experiences already created, which is encapsulating all the functionality that belongs to the specific game mode. So if we were to take, for example, the shooter game mode uh, elimination, or the shooter gameplay experience elimination, and now pressing uh, play, you can see that instead of getting our default pawn, we are now instead getting uh, the characters for that game mode which includes the, the behavior of the AI. Now immediately we can see that something is wrong with the AI and this is uh, pretty straightforward as well because they are behaving according to their logic uh, as well as they can but they don't have any nav mesh to navigate around in the area. So if we were to go here and we go to volumes and we go to nav mesh uh, bounds volume, drag it up and we let's say we want to make this um, 100 by 100 and this one doesn't need to be as large but let's say 10. <clears throat> now if we um, press the P key you can see that the, the ground is uh, illuminated as green. This represents the area where the nav mesh bounds volume is actually affecting. So in this case I just have a flat surface to affect it if you were to have a landscape or more advanced uh, uh, geometry of course you would have to make sure that the bounds volume is encom encompassing all of it for it to work. But already now if we have this in play and we jump up here you can see that the characters actually behave according to the logic which is determining how far they want to be away from characters depending on certain situations and certain behavior tree logic that we discussed in a um, in the AI part of uh, the Exploring Lyra series. I will uh, provide a link to that in the description down below if that's of interest. So essentially that is all you need. You just need to create a level to have it as you want it. If you want to have AI you make sure that you have a, a nav mesh bounce volume and you make sure that you have one of the gameplay experiences chosen. In a future episode, we will also be looking at how we can create an experience for ourselves as well to make it a little bit more custom. But yeah, that's essentially all you need. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.